Even though cleanup efforts have been on pause, the impacts of red tide in Tampa Bay continue. Our Malik Rangan joins us now with a look at how this year's red tide event stacks up to decades past. If you thought this year's red tide event is the worst you've seen, you're probably right. Take a look at this chart with data compiled from FWC and NOAA. For Middle Tampa Bay, red tide is the worst it's been in decades, and researchers say it's no coincidence. This data was compiled by Dr. Marcus Beck with the Tampa Bay Estuary Program. This year, combined with the, uh, the lower rainfalls, as well as the, uh, the nutrients that we saw from Piney Point entering the system, that sort of made this, this perfect mix for uh, the red tide to grow quite well in the bay. Beck says you don't need charts and data to connect the dots, but he wanted to show the impacts of excessive nutrients entering the bay. In the case of Piney Point this year, when we saw, you know, um, several hundred tons of nutrients enter the bay, we kind of suspected that that would cause an algal response. Which he says is exactly what happened. The estuary program says conditions have been significantly better in recent weeks, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions. There's still a lot that we don't know, and unfortunately this bloom has been very dynamic and very patchy, and that makes it hard to predict and hard to understand. So I would say that conditions are changing very frequently. Leaving it difficult to predict if red tide will worsen again this year. Beck, a program scientist, says what happened in 2021 is an anomaly in terms of nutrient pollutions. The numbers this year are a lot higher than they've been in the last couple of years, it's specifically back uh, since 1971 was the last time we had values this high. Stormwater and wastewater treatment were not regulated in Florida until 1981. The Tampa Bay Estuary Program gave some tips on small things that you can do to prevent red tide growths, like don't use fertilizer on your lawn and try to drive less.